Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are back in Forza Street. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So hopefully before the event starts, you heard that correctly, an event will be happening in the next day and two hours away. So we are basically getting a McLaren takeover. This is pretty awesome. So don't miss the first global takeover event in Forza Street. Race in a special event to earn exclusive cards and chips. Ready your engines. So McLaren takeover. Let's quickly discuss this one. Break it down a little bit. I'll give you some insights as to what I was, um, what I was reading up through the community page, what people thought um, have been thinking, and what more or less what they're sort of speculating how the event is sort of going to you know, play out. So before we go ahead, let's quickly jump into our garage. Now, obviously I don't have a McLaren yet, and I'm sure you guys don't have one either, but if we roll over to here in the unowned car section, what should happen is if we do have them, is that the McLarens, as you can see, are already there. So there was a update that came through and at the timing of this recording was a bit over, well, just, uh, just under 24 hours ago. And more or less, it just pretty much gave us the information that was coming, which is going to be the McLaren event. And this is what we're sort of looking at here at the moment. So I'm guessing this is part of the repercussion of getting that initial update you know pushed out to the masses before the event does kick off so you know i'm guessing you know from the from a development point of view they pretty much have to just float out a very small patch to trigger the update and everyone has access to the new said event and obviously the cars that we have here um, on our screen so You've got the uh, 70S Coupe at the bottom there, which is a modern. You've got a retro McLaren F1, which I would love to get my hands on. Um, very soft spot for the F1. You've got the Senna, which is just a ridiculous McLaren by any uh, means. And then you've got the 20, uh, sorry, 720S Coupe there. And then you've obviously got the P1 GDR, which is another fabled vehicle. So what you can see immediately is that you've got two streets, three supers. So now I don't know exactly how this all works to be perfectly honest with you. And I'm sort of going back to my inventory over here with the uh, class cards. So I've got a few cards that I have here at the moment, um, which I was going to more or less, you know, open and unpack today as per, you know, this video, but I might just hold off specifically to the um, to the street and supercars, just to see exactly what happens once the event does officially drop. And only because I don't want to burn the cards only a day out before the event kicks off, and then pretty much we're you know out on um, I'm sort of back to square one myself. But the event starts from June eighth, runs to July twenty. Essentially, that's about five weeks. So, in that sense, there. You've got a week to capture one of those cars. So I'm guessing it's either gonna be one of the following sort of setups where it's going to be either in, I don't believe it's gonna be a story mode, to be honest with you. I would think it's gonna be sort of a, a co-current um, spotlight event, potentially. I don't know whether or not they're gonna make it an additional tab here just for the, uh, for the takeover event that might do just that. Um, I reckon that'd be a cool thing if the, uh, the the developers actually do that so whether they go hey let's um let's throw out uh, an additional tab you know whether it be in between story and spotlight or between spotlight and upgrade i would imagine and then you would just have you know takeover or something like that i don't know but we don't know if we're going to get any sort of special um, upgrade events um, or anything like that um, I would like to think that that something like that would sort of happen, potentially, maybe, I don't know. But uh, that's something that, you know, we can only speculate. And then of course you've got the rivals, which I'm guessing that there has to be an event for, you know, people that have gotten themselves McLarens um, throughout the event. 
whether or not they start doing it right from the first week or do they do that a little bit later on you know once everyone has sort of gotten themselves a um a mclaren of their own but that's what i'm thinking so hopefully something like that may happen again this is all just speculation i'm just excited that there's going to be a full-blown event just for the sake of a car which is awesome um i don't want to buy any of those but let's just go ahead and claim this fella as you can see um it's, ooh, nice got some gold as you can see i've got a ton of these cards that have just accumulated over the course of i don't know a few days and i have been doing a lot of racing and things like that just in between just to sort of kill time as well um in any sort of case what i have done as well is i've actually started to go ahead and complete some of the chapters here now I don't think this is going to be much of an issue for a lot of you guys purely because I look doing the this story event is all well and good but there's not too much that a lot of you guys would be missing in a sense so I've made a call and I'm just going to play around with going through the events and look from time to time you may see me do um, a story event and going through and look you never know the McLaren event may pop up as a story mode who knows but again this is all just um, speculation at this point in time but what I want to do is I do want to open up some cars I've got a couple of cars that we can open up here and I've got some in the muscle department as well and you know what let's go ahead and open up some of our muscle cars Let's see what we get from it, and hopefully we'll get a pretty decent car. I don't know. I did see a, a three-star in there, a gold one. I mean, oh. <laughs> really? Really, the, fir <laughs> the first roll, and I nearly rolled myself um, a rare car. Anyway, that would have been nice. That would have been amazing, but what can you do? But let me know in the comments guys are you guys hyped for this new event that's coming out please let me know in the comments because i'm really interested to know what you guys are thinking um and will you guys be more or less you know participating why did it just stop i held it down i have no idea what just happened there that was weird that was extremely weird anyway yeah, so let me know in the comments, guys. Are you guys excited for the McLaren takeover? Will you be participating? Um, what have you guys done so far in preparation ever since finding out about this set event? What have you guys been doing? Um, so for me, I've just been holding on to cards, things like that. Got a lot of upgrade packs and things like that ready to go. I don't know exactly how it's going to happen. Awesome, three-star Mustang. That's going to help me. I know that will. Um, yeah, for sure. Because that should go. That should make my car three star now. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. So, are you guys excited? Please let me know um, how you guys are going to prepare for it. All that sort of good stuff. Um, just want to know your thoughts. I know that there might be a you know in the featured here. I don't know about these premium or these three star cards. I'm going to hold off on all of them just before the event as you know before this event drops more or less i can clearly see that none of those cars are muscle bound so i don't have to worry about doing muscle but it's more or less doing the other cars which is uh, sorry the other classes which are super and sport so i don't know exactly how that's going to play down but again oh, oh i got the wrong hellcat <laughs> Oh, that would have been good if I got that. Doesn't matter. It's a new car that I haven't owned before, so that's always a good thing. So, new car, always a welcome addition. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But we got one more shot at it. Do I get it? Who knows? But let's see if we do get ourselves a good car. No, I missed it. Completely missed it. Off cue. And we've got a Mustang. Okay. So, modern Mustang, all well and good. I don't think I've got this one before, so adding it to my muscle list of cars. Oh, look at that, level 14, perfect. Have a look at it, 
up to level 14. We're one level away from opening up the third slot as well, which is fantastic. So can't wait for that to happen. It's at least this way if I'm doing any sort of endurance racing or if I've just completely botched the, um, the whole um, racing and keep losing it for silly reasons and all that sort of stuff, then at least we know we um, have um, a backup car in that sort of sense there. So like I said, let's just go back over here. I'm hoping this is going to stay true but again have no clue i'm kind of thinking that the three um, the three star card that guarantees me a three star will have the said uh, said new mclarens who knows but like i said judging from what i've seen here oop, there we go we've got a couple of the new cars just flashing through which is awesome um, that with the McLarens here, they're going to be certain grades. Okay, so we know what they look like here and we can clearly see over here that the muscle are in a different pattern as opposed to the Super, which we know what these cars are we going, uh, sorry, they're going to be. And then you got the Sports here, which are obviously um, unmistakably a different combination compared to say that of the street cars. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to sort of um, throw out to you guys today. So I will be posting this video hopefully a little bit, just a little bit before in time before the update does officially drop. So hopefully you guys will be um, around for that. And if you are, let me know by hitting the like button. If you guys enjoyed this one, please share the video, comment down below. If you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, guys, Take it easy, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.